everyone, it's Anne from Anne Ellis Angels and I'm here with your card reading for the coming week. These are general readings, so take from them everything that resonates with you, leave behind anything else, but most importantly, enjoy the reading and have a really positive week. I will be using my teacup tarot deck. Gemini, here are your cards from the Teacup Tarot deck for the week starting the 31st of July. And your overall energy is lovely. It's one of the best cards in the deck. It's number 19, the sun. This is the card of success. This is the card of happy outcomes. This is the card of reaching your goal after you've been working hard. And it also reminds you to get busy on those new ideas. Your help or your hurdle, the justice card is here. And this says you need to focus on integrity, honesty, justice and fairness, and do what you know is the right thing to do. Helping you do this in steps the King of Pencils. Now the Kings are authority figures in the deck. And the King of pencils is very much um, associated with complex paperwork so it might be a legal issue it might be a financial issue where there's a lot of small print the king of pencils can step up and give you advice on this complex paperwork very clear thinking very analytical and at the top of their field where complex paperwork is involved so here's somebody stepping up to give you some lovely help and advice if you would like to take it. How can we help ourselves? We've got the Ace of Pencils. Now, the Aces are all about wonderful new beginnings. And the Ace of Pencils is about new ideas. Now, we were talking about new ideas here. Here they are again, alongside Clarity. The Ace of Pencils is very much a card of trying different things, realising what works well and moving forward with that. But clarity and new ideas on how to do that are key. Stay positive, stay motivated and focus on what could go right. Very often we are programmed to do just the opposite. This is your final outcome card. This is a card of healing and moving on and knowing that the situation will improve. So just to summarise the tarot cards, success after you've been busy working, this is you reaping the rewards of your hard work and movement forward with the focus on justice fairness, honesty and integrity and somebody coming in to help you with any small print or complex paperwork. New ideas, new clarity and new ways forward are available to you and focus on what could go right with those. Know that the situation will improve and this is very much a card of healing and moving on. So let's get a little bit more information from the Time to Shine deck. The Six of Emotions says it's time for you to do what you've always wanted to do. This is a card of the past. So you might be reminiscing, you might be talking to somebody from the past. Somebody from the past might reappear. But generally, this is a card of you doing what you've always wanted to do. And the timing might be different this time. The opportunity is perhaps better placed this time for you. The Four of Wisdom says you need to be stepping up into a leadership role. You need a plan. You need to get organised. You need to stay disciplined and get yourself a plan on how you're going to move forward. That's just... The Four of Wisdom is the Emperor card in traditional tarot. And at a moment's notice, the Emperor is ready to go because everything is planned in advance. That's just what you need to be aware of. Here's your wonderful new beginning. The Zero of Wisdom, first card in the whole deck. This is about you following your dreams, 
enjoying wonderful new opportunities and taking that leap of faith. How oh, lovely, three wisdom cards in a row. This is capital letters in a reading, if ever there were any. The 13 of wisdom is lovely. It's about wonderful new beginnings, new chapters opening up for you. Wonderful new beginnings. And you enjoying those. The one of action, we're talking about new beginnings and here it is. The one of action is the card of exciting opportunities coming in for you. This card doesn't just show you that there's an exciting opportunity. It asks you, what are you waiting for? You need to be taking action. And the final outcome card again is about taking action. The three of wisdom is the empress in traditional tarot. This is the card about getting busy. Look, she's got her sleeves rolled up. She's got her apron on and she's busy with those new ideas and new projects. The empress doesn't just talk about doing something or think she might do something. She's getting on and taking the action. Now, right at the beginning here, the sun card brought you in the energy of getting busy on those new ideas. And that's just how the reading is ending. So in the middle, let's just look at all the cards together. Your mindfulness homework. Do what you know is the right thing to do. Take sound advice if you wish to on complex paperwork. New ideas coming in, a chance to do something that you want it to do. Perhaps the timing is more favourable this time. It's the card of healing and moving on. Here's the wonderful new opportunities coming in, a wonderful new beginning. You need to get organised, you need to get busy and get moving in a new direction, following the lovely qualities of honesty, integrity and wisdom. The new opportunities are here. Are you ready? So I hope you've enjoyed the reading. If you have, click that subscribe button, make the bell ring. Thank you for doing that. It's free. And then you'll get notified when I do the next reading for you as well. So take care now and I'll see you soon.